And so we bid our AI companions welcome to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, of course, you are going to wonder of me, what can I do with these people? What use are they? Well, I have decided that we should try and answer that question for you. Now, here is my character. Of course, we are Bundeswehr and we have the G36. We don't have a backpack. We have a pretty decent kit going on here. And our teammates, they're also Bundeswehr. We have the Fixit with the G36 Scout version. And yes, you can change their weapons. We can alter their weapons in the gunsmith. So this is a feature I've been wanting for quite some time. So we're gonna be equipping their guns with muscle brakes and bipods and dual range sights. And there are some new sights as well coming with the technical update. But I think this guy is just going to be having the DMR here. So he has the designated marksmanship rifle. Or no. I mean, the G36 Scout is not really a thing. So how about we just give him a new one? Any of these weapons can be equipped. So how about we give him the G28? The G28 is a version of the HK417, sorry. And I think we are going to... Uh, we can give it the traditional RAL 8000 paint, or we can just give it standard black. I think we'll go with standard black for this one. With a standard magazine, with the... We're just gonna go with the standard muscle. And a peck box, and an ACOG, and a bipod. So, he will be our group sniper. Fix it will be our group sniper. Now, he carries another gun as well. I just wish we could get rid of that. So, what about Fury? Fury is currently carrying the UMP submachine gun. But it's an ill fit for her. So, I think she is going to get something else. In fact, I think she is going to be more of a tradi traditionalist. So, how about we just give her the MP5, and then we, of course, open that one in the gunsmith, and she wants some more ammunition for her MP5. She prefers it that way. So, she also gets a muscle break, she also gets the pack box, and she also gets a low-key sight, and looky-looky, she can also get a trigger, but we're gonna stick with the auto-burst trigger for her, and then she's gonna get a vertical foregrip that's going to make the gun a little bit uncomfortable to carry. And then Vasily. My man Vasily. What are you going to get? Well, of course, we need another guy with an assault rifle on the team. So, of course, this guy gets a G36 as well. Muscle break, pack 15, comp sight, and how about we give him a grenade launcher? I mean... It doesn't hurt to bring an extra grenade launcher, so congratulations, Vasily. You just became Grenadier. Also, that headband you have, I think we are gonna switch it out. I think you're just gonna be having a standard field cap, and we're gonna edit the color on that one. So, as you can see, the modification options regarding their appearance is exactly the same as Nomad's. There is no, no difference at all. You can even copy the gear and accessories of the main character to one of uh, to your team, and this is awesome because that means if you want, to, if you're like me, and want your team to look like they belong to a specific unit, then you can just copy it all, and then you can make small alterations to make them individual. So, let's head back into the bivouac, break camp, and we will be leaving the bivouac right the fuck now, actually. So, we still have our G36 here, and we are moving up to our sniper, who it sees has other things. Oh, wait, we got contact. Where? Okay, we got contact right below there. So, 
one thing I do not like is actually this command menu. But we are going to order our... We're gonna order our units to engage. They're gonna be ambushing the riflemen down on the road. And they're already done. Those guys are neutralized. So that didn't take long at all, did it? So let's find something more dangerous to attack and we'll test these guys out in action. Right, so there are a couple of more enemies in this area and we shall be taking our sweet time clearing most of them out. We have at least two tangos up ahead. Let's engage them. Tango's down, keep it going. Switch to primary and fire at will. Our target is 500 meters ahead and we are going to secure some more firepower. We have another couple of enemies right up ahead. So I'm going to be setting up my drone and we'll be tagging them for a sync shot. Sync shot is an ability that the AI teammates can use, so... Targets neutralized. Good show. Keep it going. So you don't need the sync shot drones anymore. You can still use them if you like. And that will actually allow you to do sync shots with up to seven targets if you carry them around. But me, on the other hand, I just prefer to go with this one. We're not going to... Oh, apparently there is an uh, episode nearby, but we're not going to try and do it at this time. For this episode, I would prefer to just focus on the AI companions. So we're doing an ammo check. We are also checking what we got. We got the MP grenades, uh, water canteen, and a shock pistol. We don't have... That is something I do find a little bit annoying. These uh, AI companions will keep referring to suppressors as silencers. And they will nag you about it. They will literally nag really much about it. Tango down. And now they heard the shot. So now we are gonna unleash our teammates. Go. Yep, engage hostiles. You're clear to engage. As you can see, they're doing a decent job of protecting my flank here. And we got incoming grenades. We need to keep on going. We're advancing. Right. Get away from there before the grenade blows. It could be a mortar as well. Keep it going. I'll stall down. Watch the rear. As you can see, fighting with your AI teammates is actually a whole different experience. As you... You come to rely on them a lot more than you would in pretty much any other. And they're not useless as well. While I do think you have to overly force them into battle by ordering them to go hot. It's not as bad as it could have been. And you still are left holding the bag in such a way that you need to do a lot of the work. The about to shoot at us. And some of the some of the dialogue is repe repetitive as hell. Now I'm um, I don't I do I don't mind the fact that they're calling out the snipers, but it does get a bit annoying when they're calling out snipers about to fire and they call it out like six times already. 
Especially since, like, we have a sniper on our own. Shouldn't the... our sniper preferably engage their sniper? Oh well, let's keep on going. It looks like we have sporting an injury, so we'll have to fix it. And we can't fix it while we are in range of a, of a sniper. So we'll fix that, and our teammates will of course carry on the fight while we heal. In any other situation, you would be very vulnerable in this situation. But, uh, to be honest, with the AI teammates, you do have a lot more protection. But the AI teammates can go down as well. Like, we sent them up against horrible odds, and now we're on our own again. So that means we have to pick up the AI teammates. And to do that, we are going to have to clear the house. Looks like there's a sniper in the closer tower first that we need to take out. That guy has all the luck in the world. Let's go. Hang on, Fury. Right, so we're gonna be picking up Fury off the floor first. That's it. Thank you. And then we are gonna be picking up the next of them. We're taking sniper fire, but of course... Whoa, we need to take cover here. Yeah, and we need to get some syringes. Done. Keep suppressing that sniper. Open fire. Sniper's about to engage us. So far that sniper is proving to be one of the most annoying enemies in the game. He does seem to have an uncanny ability on knowing when to duck. So, let's get inside the building instead, and just ignore that sniper for a moment. We need to grab what we came for. In we go. And we need to reach the rooftop, of course. And, as you can see, there is still a mortar active here, but we finished that one quickly enough. Looks like we got some more tangos on this side. We gotta clear them out. Well, this one is... Right, let's end it. Sing shot one, sing shot two. We'll grab the machine gun blueprints. We're gone. Fire! Target down. And the sniper is also down, so we will be breaking contact and returning to the forest whence we came. And to do that, of course, we are gonna have our squad regrouping. But as you can see, they can actually engage quite independently. You don't need to stay and babysit them or in any way stay far too close to them. So that is actually a pretty neat me neat mechanic. And of course they'll be heading back and joining us in right now. So they're pretty fast too. They're, they're not really going to slow you down in any way, shape or form. So I know what you're thinking. Does the weapons affect how they act. Well, yes, if you put on a suppressor, they will mimic that behavior. So we are going to get rid of our suppressor right now. 
and they will mimic that by removing suppressors from their own weapons. But let's try something else because I know you're gonna want to do this. I can definitely tell this is something you guys are wanting to do. So, as you can see, you can also deactivate the teammates if you want. I don't see why anyone would actually want to deactivate the teammates. But let's go customize the teammates. And we'll give them the L115A3 sniper rifle. And when I say we'll give them it, I mean we're giving them all of them. All of them will have that sniper rifle now. So we're going to be having three AI companions, all of whom are going to run around with a sniper rifle. The very same sniper rifle. And what do I got? Well, I got this tiny little Lucy. And there just happens to be a small checkpoint nearby. So let's grab our team of elite skilled snipers and see how they handle the checkpoint. So we are just going to go into drone mode here, and we're going to be scouting scouting this place out a bit, and then we're just going to give them clear hot. Open up. Gotcha. Going loud. So let's see how they are going to be handling this little outpost. Well, they didn't really succeed in taking out any of the enemies so far. So far, the enemy is alerted to their presence and does keep firing. So, the snipers here hasn't really returned fire that all that much. Oh, there's a heavy as well, god damn it. And they have vehicle support. This is, this is gonna get ugly if it keeps going this way. I mean, there's a lot of traffic on the road and so far they haven't really been able to take out many of the priority targets so so we're going to order them to light them up again and see if so far the result of using free people with sniper rifles is it's not really in using free sniper rifles favor and of course this is because the enemy does have an ability to keep our AI teammates at a distance and they don't have the same kind of rate of fire as they would with, for example, an assault rifle. They don't really have much of a suppressive ability. They do have immense kill power, of course, so we do see them here actually doing a really fantastic job in just dealing a bunch of damage to the enemy. Enemies hit. We got a man hit. But we also took casualties. Fury is, Fury is down. So we are going to advance and we are gonna help her up. Whoops. We are compromised. As you can see our teammates our teammates have different detection than we do. So the Teammates can be detected, but you may not. And this enables an interesting sort of flanking tactics. So now that we hit them up close, you will see that the efficiency of the snipers will be increased. Because, of course it will. There's something to, to distract the... Yeah, area is clear. So... Do you want to run around with free AI companions who all run sniper rifles? No. You really don't want to do that. So, let's try the other end of the spectrum. Smoke em. Copy. Open so let's put on the drone and see if the AI companions are more effective or less effective with machine guns instead of sniper rifles. Well, they certainly are less accurate. And they seem to have absolute shit awareness here. So they already have gotten themselves surrounded. But that doesn't seem to have mattered all that much. Because their increased firepower is 
actually proving more than a match here. So, so far they have done a quite a decent job in clearing out the immediate vicinity here. And not only are they suppressing the enemy, they are absolutely wrecking them. Even going so far as to teleport to pick up their own mate. So, if you remember what happened with the sniper rifles, I would say that if you're gonna be running your teammates with free of something, it would appear like running them with machine guns is the better choice. However, that said, the best choice is obviously to just go to the menu here, customize teammates, and of course, we'll just give them a balanced loadout. For example, fix it can can carry keep actually fix it can keep that. While Fury, on the other hand, will get an Uzi. And Vasily, of course, being our sniper, will be getting the G28. Or, even better, he can actually get the Scorpio Scout quiet. So, now that we have an averagely balanced team, let's find another base and see what havoc we can cause with them. And show you how a properly balanced team will win out any time. So let's start the engagement. We have a heavy up ahead, so... Tango down. And immediately the team starts nagging about the suppressors. And this is something I really wish they would just cut out. I mean, it's very annoying. Because some people like me are going loud on purpose. And instead, they're just, like, treating me like I'm this horribly new person. And uh, you can't really argue that Nomad is the new guy around anymore. Right, so we got the chopper. Let's keep it going. We're going to enter the test zone and see if we can cause some trouble up ahead. He's gone. Keep it going. Right. Engage. So Vasily has opened up. Opened up. Keep it going. As you can see, it is a lot better having a balanced team to do this. Where you have a s machine gunner who can suppress the enemy, you have a sniper who can take out priority targets, and you have someone with a submachine gun that can back you up in those tight corners. So we're moving up, and we are going to be... We're going to be securing this place. Yeah, let's climb that ladder and get to the top floor. Fury has been visually detected, meaning that they're probably... Oh. <laughs> That's not really the way we're supposed to be doing this. We'll have to take down that sniper. Well, that's one way to do it. Then we'll just stay here and provide whatever fire support we can. Enemy down. Tango down. As you can see, we can act with impunity here. 
while our teammates still on the ground level are advancing on the enemy. And as you can see, they will also take advantage of when we are suppressing the enemy for them. So this area seems reasonably clear and they will be rejoining us at this time. And this has concluded the demonstration of the AI teammates for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I thank you for tagging along and I hope you will enjoy them as much as I did.